Hello everybody, Elderberry Syrup here, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play series where we are playing FTV University for 119. So we have finished setting up all of these. They all have their crafters on top, extractors on the back, and so forth. All we have to do is put recipes inside of the crafters that are on top. I don't know if I like the position of this. It's might get changed to like in the center but for now it's gonna have to stay where it is it's a lot of work to move um i just added osmium osmium to this export bus to go down in here so that we always have 64 on hand and this is exporting on yellow so on the west export yellow yes wonderful and so on this one we're gonna have the on the up let's get our card holder on the up we want energy to go in and items to come out extract on the black like that and we want it to on that uh we also want an insert on the yellow but we need a filter. Filter, filter, just the basic filter. And on that insert, we are going to insert on the basic filter. Wait. Um, oh, that's energy card. Oops. I was like, what is going on here? Insert on the yellow. And we want to insert Osmium. And boom, it shoots up, fills up that to 64. And then that means this is dropped down. So it is refilling this now. And we need this to be refined obsidian um, auto crafting. So we're going to come back here. And we're going to find and make sure that we have at least one channel left on this. We do have at least one channel and enough channels on that. So we can put another crafter right here. Um, not crafter. That's not the. Wait. Uh, I done forgot the name of them. Um, let me grab my wrench here not the right wrench but uh, the pattern provider that's the word we're looking for provider provider grab us one more of those and place it there and we want this to be enriched obsidian grab us a little bit of our smart cable and well it don't even need to be smart we can just get glass because we don't have a lot of that smart cable left right now so do that come back over here and fill this back up so when we request hopefully refined obsidian let's request 10 we're missing 10 refined obsidian dust so that means we need to go to this diamond one and it needs a pattern for that. I haven't put in, in I have not put in any of the patterns yet. That's something I'll do as we go, but I do want to make sure that uh we are all tracking the same thing. Uh, Obsidian dust is made through the infuser with diamond. Um, I used the wrong recipe. Obsidian dust. Infuser. We want obsidian dust going into there with the diamond. That makes that. And in order to get the obsidian dust... We need it to go through an enrichment. We need obsidian to go through an enrichment chamber. So we shoot back down here. Find our enrichment chambers. Now we don't have to do it this way right here. What I'm doing right now. 
Um, that one is that. We can throw in uh, one refined obsidian dust with one obsidian. Wait. Nope, that's the wrong thing. One obsidian to obsidian dust. And then for our diamond one right here, we should put obsidian dust. Now we should be able to, assuming I did that right, request one of these. It sends the obsidian through here, gets crushed up. You can do it. And then placed into here to obsidian. Now it's only going to do one because it's all I requested, but there's three more of these dust in the system now. And then it should go to a smelter, which it's no, I mean the uh, compressor. Why didn't it go to? Oh, did it already do it? We need obs refined obsidian dust to the osmium compressor. Oh, do I not have the... Yes, so... Input. Output. And then on energy. Input everywhere. So it should. And... da, -da It's there. So, let's take... Let's request a couple more of those. Let's request three more because we know we have... Three dust left. So request those. And I'm going to get my temporal pouch to speed it up just a small bit. Because even though we have all this refined obsidian gear from mob drops, we have not found a single sword yet. So let's grab that and a stick. And now we have our refined obsidian sword, which they are pretty nice with a starting of 12 hearts on damage. And so then you can start getting that stuff enchanted, which we've gone through. I think we've done plenty of enchanting that that is good to go. But if you have any questions on it, please feel free to ask in the comments or check out your quest book let's get after that's done oh i put in a p2p p2p i put in one of our feet and right guard there it goes i'm placing them here so that i know where they go to and i've already i forgot to rename that uh, pink goes to mechanism. Uh, auto mechanism, auto crafting. Where do we have an anvil? Are we out of anvils? Anvil? Uh, it would help if I added the in there. Anvil, we have a chipped anvil. Go ahead and grab one of these as well. You know, I would like to see, do we have any unbreaking? Nope, we don't have any unbreaking enchants. That's a bummer. Uh, reinforced chest, what's in there? Nothing. Place that in there. Place that one up. Oh, nope. I did not mean to do that enchantment. Did absolutely nothing. This is memory card, but this is uh, mechanism auto. Good enough. And then we know what everything is going to auto memory card. Those might actually, I don't, I don't even know at this point. I don't even know at this point. But we have done quite a bit in this series. Uh, we've checked out. I, I know we didn't do rails. Um, I, I just, I know we got to where we could do rails if we wanted. And we haven't done any. 
but that that's just uh the way that goes i don't think we're going to actually do them i don't feel like setting up the train stations but what we can do is we can set up a couple matter transmitters right quick to allow us to get around the places we need to go so let's set up four of the, or five of those let's get this advanced one as well charged porter but you want the advanced charge porter so that you can actually add more than one location and we will get points uh, we're going to need a few points five total so let's do that uh well we oh, got seven all right this first one right here we're going to place down and we are going to call it home or base and it's going to be public and that's its name but it needs a point so let's drop down here and underneath it place that point ebsu out it'll use a thousand rf a tick just to get started that's okay. And we are going to right click on it on here. So now, uh, right? Uh, oh, set, clear, wait, am I doing this wrong? Add player access list, private, public. High uh, teleportation beam. I don't. Wait a minute. Don't we need. How do I set. This. Well, let's find out. Um, RF tools. Beam me up. We need a receiver and a transmitter. This is for the dialing device, but we don't, we shouldn't need the dialing device, should we? If we have the porters, the charge porter allows you to teleport to a bound matter receiver from anywhere in any dimension. Longer distance require more FV. Sneak right click the porter on the receiver to bind it. Sneak right click. Okay, I've done that. And then I... Shift right click and it's not letting me. Oh, this is a transmitter, not a receiver. Oh no, I made the wrong things. Oh no. This is to get you out of the location you're at. Oh. Don't break those with your hand. Um transmitter or no receiver um at rf i made the wrong machines one two three four five and we'll set that there and that's gonna go and then shift right click receiver one so let's name this home and try that again and we can shift right click home dimension overworld so wherever we go if we want to set one out at our mob farm got a pig out here for some reason just make sure we have a point down it has energy. EBS you out. Receiver. Mob farm. Shift right click. And now we have uh, more spots that we can go. And we can set those up wherever we want in any dimension, which is absolutely wonderful. So if we found a good spot inside the nether that we wanted to be able to go back and forth to away from those guys um 
Oh, that's right. We can't fly here because we don't have a... Um, environmental controller here. Forgot about that. Been doing a lot of on or live streaming lately, and we have uh, create a flight at this point over there. So I, you know, I just keep trying to fly. Our lava pump's going well. We're getting plenty of lava going to where we need it to. Let's head home. But we can set these wherever we would want to with no issue. Um, but you can only have so many targets, I believe, with shift right click. You can fill out those targets before you need another one. Um, let's see. I feel like we had a sword in this series. And I'm thinking this will be the last time I do two series at one time. <laughs> it has, uh definitely caused me confusion. Confusion on where we were and on what we were on. So, w no more dual series, just the one from that one. But let's throw this guy in here. Uh, not exactly what we want. Um, but we could come over here, see what we got. Uh, looting. We could use some looting. Looting. Four. Is there any sharpness? Sharpness, sharpness, yes. As many times as we can. Sharpness, five. Um, Soulbound probably wouldn't be bad to have on the sword so we can get back. Unusing for sure. Unbreaking is nice. Sweeping edge. How much can we get on that? Four. And that might be about all we need on this sword for now. Oh, life stealing. Because that will heal us. Um, I do like this enchantment library. It's nice and easy to sort through. Um, I do not want... Oh, capturing. Duh. Gotta have that. Oh, just two? That's it? Ugh. But it's better than zero. So let's get these books combined. Eight or eight. Four. Eleven or twenty-two. Let's go with the eleven. Thirty-four or twelve. We'll go with the twelve. Gotta love this uh take all experience. Um, so that's four. That's only five. And then that's only six. And then we put that on this sword. And now we're at 15 and a half hearts damage. So we have a good sword with us. Which is always nice. I can't believe we didn't have one earlier. The only reason we have this refined obsidian gear is because of mob drops. Um, one thing I would like to try though that I saw I tried it in the direwolf 20 pack the was it direwolf 20 um, no FTB one I don't know a direwolf 20 I think we're doing refined storage is what is the issue but if we take this building gadget and we put it in the interface, the security thing right here. Is that it? No. We link it. No, wait, what is it? It's. Oh, no, it's not until the mod pack until 120. So disregard everything I just said about that. Um, 
but in Minecraft 120, the building gadget, you can actually link it to your applied energistic system. Which will allow you to use your building gadgets as long as you have access to your system. But I believe that is, I do need to do some more mining. I do need to take this back down to some more mining. I need to set up recipes for all of our ingots and all of that. So short episode today. And let me know if y'all don't let me know what y'all would like to see. Um, anything further from this mod pack, then we may just go ahead and start closing it out because we've done quite a bit of stuff in this mod pack and it really is to teach you about the mods. That's what it's primarily for and makes it easier for you for beginners. It's always a great thing. Compact machines. Love that. Um, let's see if this is the con. Yes. So we, we could do that right quick. But if y'all don't let me know what you would like to see. Um, at the release of this episode. If there's not anything else y'all can think of. Then we'll probably go ahead and start closing it out. And focusing on our. Uh oh. Focusing on our Direwolf 20, which we will also be doing. Uh, dire. I was. What am I doing? Uh, netherite. Uh, do we have. Oh, we don't have the stuff for it. So can't make that big one. We'll focus on that, but we'll also be doing a live series on there. On that. Uh, let's see. Compact machines. We couldn't get the nether right, but we should be able to get the diamond one. And then once you have that, you'll also need your personal shrinking device. And you can place this anywhere in your world. And depending on where you put it, you know, like when, once you build something in it, don't move it. Because it ain't going with it. You know, I, it, it's not going to. But you click it with your shrinking device. And now you got this indestructible building, essentially, that you can build in. And you could put, uh, you could pipe things into and out of this via the overall. So to make things go in and out, you can set this up for an auto crafting area. As long as you have a link, we don't, obviously we don't have a link with applied energistics in here, but these are the tunnels. So if we wanted to put in energy tunnels, flood tunnels, or item tunnels, we could pump things in and out for auto crafting so that it's doing it in another dimension off camera. Nobody's really, you can't really, you don't really watch it unless you want to. So it does, it, it causes less lag especially on servers so that is a new mod there but so let me know what else if anything else y'all would like me to cover in this mod pack and we will see about getting that done until next time this is elderberry syrup wishing you a wonderful day take care